Yo, what's up guys? I'm going to talk about an incident that I did and it was kind of funny and not really so much funny, but I'm just going to talk about it. So it's back when I worked at Home Depot, right? And uh, I was lift equipment certified, obviously. I worked in receiving at the time for about uh, four, five, six months or so. I was unloading a truck, right? And, you know, everything was going good and, you know, I was on a uh, pacer truck right i'll pop it on the screen so you can see it it's a stand-up battery operated uh lift right that's primarily used at home depot to unload box trucks so that was basically what i did i unload the box truck and at this point in time it was nighttime, right so the night crew was there and i was there helping them out i was in the middle of uh you know second shift and third shift when i worked at home depot and receiving there so i'm unloading the truck right everything's going smoothly basically you unload the truck right so basically you go in the truck Truck, you pick a pallet up you drive out and you line it up right at the exit there so people from the night shift can put their pallet jack in and you know take the product where it needs to go set it in front of where it goes so it's easier to like put out that's basically the process right so this time i'm going into the truck and there's a pallet of paint it was five gallon buckets of paint if I had a guess, there was probably 36 uh, five-gallon buckets of paint on this pallet, right? And, uh, you know, now this uh, pallet was like a few feet into the truck, right? So now it's really hard to... Uh, explain this but you have the truck that's uh you know parked there right and you have this dock plate that goes on top of the truck the floor of the truck but it's kind of like at an angle to dock plate right so when you drive in your machine is kind of slanted downward so when you finally the back wheel comes and hits the end of the dock plate it kind of bounces back and your forks kind of bounce up with it too so the pallet of paint was in a specific location where as soon as you hit your back wheel at the end of the dock plate your forks jumped up and i wasn't really aware it was like right there so uh you know i like to go fast because obviously like when you get good you just kind of you know you're kind of cocky and you you know you're good and you're just trying to do everything fast as you can right while being safe of course but so like i said basically Basically, I went into the truck, I hit the end of the dock plate, and my forks bounced up, right? And right where they, they were bouncing up, I was going into this pallet, but they bounced over the pallet and hit the paint, right? A bucket of paint, a five-gallon bucket of paint. So I back up, and I look at it, and, you know, it, it looks fine, you know? I guess I just kind of slid under the bucket, or so I thought. So then I just, you know, reversed and went back in, picked the pallet up. I put it out, you know, by the exit, so a guy on a electric pallet jack can pick it up and take it to where it goes because obviously it's really heavy so you know we use the uh electric pallet jack to make it easier to transport you know for the heavy stuff so i'm just going about it i'm like okay well nothing happened so i'm just doing it i'm doing my thing and uh everyone's uh freaking out uh like you know everyone's freaking out i'm like what's going on dude so i kind of like drive over i'm like oh my god there's just a giant thick line of white paint just going like halfway down the store because the guy in the pallet jack didn't realize that you know and i i didn't think i even you know hit the bucket at all but yeah just a thick line of white paint just going directly across the entire like halfway through the store it was kind of funny you know but obviously you know my bad you know everyone's freaking out like you know you know everyone's laughing you know it's a good uh it was a good work environment everyone was really chill and stuff uh i'm just like wow kyle you really f***ed that one up man <laughs> yeah, i'm just like yeah you know uh, it, was, it was just it was kind of funny uh you know actually you know the managers cleaned it up too was, which was really cool i was like wow thanks guys <laughs> and you know they let me keep driving because i was pretty decent but uh you know i just messed up right there uh and i continued unloading the truck without uh you know any incident so after you after you break something on a forklift you're you're less likely to break something in you know the next coming days or weeks you know because you're really sketched out and you don't want to break anything again and but yeah, you know, um, that was just a funny uh, little story I guess I had uh, from my forklift driving days at Home Depot. So yeah, you know, that's really it for the story there. I hit a five-gallon jug of paint, didn't realize it. The guy drug it halfway across the store, and there was just a thick line of paint just all the way down. It was, it was kind of funny, you know, so, you know, got made fun of, you know, for a couple days after that, but, you know, <laughs> that's how it is. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and peace out.